a weird fascination in the 2000s with turning things into keychains. Things like MP3 players, Tomagotchis are a good example, because those are keychains as well. But one good example is something I picked up at Goodwill for three bucks about two years ago now. This little guy. This is a Citronic, well, this is an Innovage digital photo keychain. A digital photo keychain is exactly as expected. It's a digital photo frame in keychain form. Mine, however, doesn't have the keychain in it anymore, and that is kind of my fault. I took this apart because it wasn't working correctly, and I lost the keychain bit in the process. So, yeah. And what I mean by that is I had to remove the battery. The battery in this thing was swollen when I got it, and this was new in box, by the, well, unopened is the correct term. This was unopened, it was three bucks at Goodwill, and the only way you can use it now is if you plug it in. And when you plug it in, you're greeted with probably the worst UI I think I've ever had to see. Ignore this blotch in the middle, that's the screen. The screen is messed up, and this happened about two to three days after I got this thing. To put photos on it, you have to put in update mode, which it's not connected to a computer right now. Well, it's not connected to a computer with software on it. Which, foreshadowing, it uses its own so That kept light after it was unplugged. There's no battery in here. But, this uses its own software, no shocker, and this software is pretty sketchy looking. When you put in USB charge mode, you get your photos in slideshow form. Let me... Yeah, you can tell this is a passive matrix LCD, by the way, from how blurry the transitions are. Anything that does movement on this display is incredibly blurry. It doesn't look as blurry as it is in person, though, on camera. So that's a plus. And yes, these colors are as washed out in person as they look on camera. But it's got a menu. Power off, which does actually nothing. Delete image, which just, you know, deletes the image. Display mode, which has automatic slide or manual slide. And I have it set to 10 seconds, so that's the default. Clock set, set the clock. Clock display, displays the clock. And then it just goes back to here. There isn't really anything interesting to be said with this thing. Except for the box that it came in. Claimed that when this thing came out. It had a claimed price of $50 MSRP. That is outrageous. And I'm sure in 2007 this thing was, I don't know, probably worth it. But I just don't see that. And yes, it did actually come as scratched as this. These scratches are not mine. It came this scratched in box, and it was a sealed box, or sealed package. Some of these scratches are new, and these finger gucks are mine. Same with on the front. But, yeah, it's nothing interesting. The insides, where the magic happens... It has a flash chip here, which the box says said that this is, was an 8M storage. Just 8M, so I can't tell if they're meaning megabyte or megabit. I sure, actually. So I just googled it. This is an 8 megabit chip. They advertised this as an 8 meg total, which I guess they're not wrong. 8 megabits is 1 megabyte, except they didn't say it was 8 megabits or megabytes. They just said it was 8M. And we have a Citronix ST2205U. Someone actually did the research into this thing a long time ago, and I guess ported some, made some software for this thing that you just root onto it or whatever. Never looked much into it. 
mainly because the second I did, I found out all the downloads were broken, so, yeah. It's got an LED here that just does nothing except tell you the device is on. And the daughter board here, which is just your buttons. Fairly boring. Um, but the chip is actually pretty interesting. The Citronics chips, the ST2205U, is actually a 6502. So that's pretty neat. That means this thing and this cheap handheld game system here. Ooh, gaming. Run the same CPU. They both run a 6502, except this runs, I believe, a VT03, which is a modified 6502. But I find that very neat. I find it very cool. The software is a bit sketchy looking. First off, when you have it installed in the... Well, and this is plugged in, but it's not in update mode, and as you can see... But if we go ahead here and we unplug it, plug it back in, and put it in update mode, and then try again, Windows thinks it's a disk. This is actually a first. I tried this earlier and it worked. Why it's not working now is a mystery. But Windows does think it's a disk. I wonder if Windows can determine how big the disk is. Citronics so Multimedia USB device. That didn't help. Uh, zero bytes. Alright, I guess I need to reinstall the program. Let's see if it works. Apparently not. Does this thing just not work anymore? Let me try a different USB port. Does it just not work on anything newer than... Well, I guess this is as far as this Goodwill gadget goes. Because apparently, uh, apparently I can't uh, use it. Well, what did I expect for three bucks? So, 